Hey guys, today we are working with a 2011 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Uh, it's got the 3.8 liter V6. Right here is the ECM we'll be working with today. Uh, it's from Walkers Off Road in Eva, Alabama. Uh, they were wanting a skim delete done. Right here is the pinout we're going to be using today. Uh, if you guys want to build your own uh, bench harness for these. Otherwise, right here is the pinout. You can hook up to it with your uh, breakout box. Either way, I do a lot of these. So I built uh, an actual bench harness. So we can just plug right into it. 12 volt power supply hooked up. Uh, we got the ignition on, off off on we got the hp tuner mpv2 for this one today um the ecm is a ngc 4a and we're going to be using hp tuners to do this today i have uh, gathered the info here's the info on it and we're going to go ahead and start the read Takes a little bit to read these, so we'll be back as soon as we get to the end of it. At this point, we need to cycle the ignition. Turn off, wait 10 seconds. Turn on. Save the file. We're going to go to the system tab. Under general, we have the security. Skim is disabled, skim capable. We need to disable that. Then we need to go into right vehicle. Then we go over and we select <clears throat> skim disable for retrofit. Hit right. Right, complete. Some people like to go to right calibration and do that first. And then go in and do the right for retrofit option. Um, it works either way. I've never ran into a problem doing just the retrofit right. Uh, but this person mailed their ECM in and they are... Uh, quite a ways away so just in case I'm going ahead and doing the right calibration and then I'm going to do the right retrofit I'm going to cycle the ignition here okay and then I'm going to do the skim disable for retrofit just do it one more time just to make sure everything is good before I mail it back to him and how this works is when the vehicle turns on and that power is sent to the ECM, the computer in this vehicle, it looks for a skim module, a module to tell it that it does or doesn't have skim. That's what this, uh, this was right here, skim capable. Um, when it's enabled, the computer knows, all right, we're, we're equipped with a skim module. We need to be looking for a programmed key before we let this thing run. When you disable that, it tells the computer that it doesn't even have a skim module at all. So the first time or every time that you turn on the ignition in this vehicle, that ECM is gonna look and see, is there a skim module there? And if there is, and it detects it, 
it's going to enable this on its own without us even, even flashing it or doing anything. It's going to re-enable this. So a big thing is on these, before you ever plug this ECM back in, you need to disconnect the ring around the key, around the ignition, um, which is the skim module. Because every time you turn on this, this vehicle, this ECM is going to be looking to see if that module is hooked up. And if it is, boom, it's going to enable it again. Um, with it disabled and that module not there, it'll look, it won't see it, and then it's going to go ahead and let you start the vehicle with just a metal key. So it's really important before you ever hook this module back up that you disconnect that skim module around the ignition. Otherwise, you're going to have to do this whole process all over again. So that's really important, guys. Remember that. Uh, if anyone has any other ECMs or other modules they'd like me to uh, do a video on, go ahead and drop a comment in the, in the comment section. Uh, otherwise, like and subscribe, guys. Uh, it's the only way I'm going to be able to build this channel up. Uh, the more subscribers we get, the more videos I'll make. Right now, we're doing about one a week. So, the more subscribers and uh, likes and shares you guys can do, the more information I'll be able to give out to you. All right, have a good day, guys.